This is a text editor on the screen and we're controlling the width and the height and we've made it a circle. But one thing you might not realize is that the moment you go and add in a bit of CSS to control the height of it, that text editor will not look like that. It will look like this so that it's no longer centered, but I'm going to show you how to sort that out right now. Let's start off with a container. It's a full width and it's a full height, 100 VH, and everything is centralized at the moment. Okay, we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to drop a bit of text in. I'm not going to modify the contents of that. What I will, however, do is go to my advanced tab and I'm going to set the width of this to be custom. I want to control this exactly how it looks. So I'm going to go and set this to be a 400 in width like that. I'm also going to go to the background and I'm going to give this a color of say something like orange. And then very, very quickly, I'm just going to change the text to be a white and I'm going to make it be a little bit weightier just so you can see it. And I'm going to go and give this some padding inside of about 50. Now we will come back to modify this again in a moment because you might need to tweak the top padding, right? One of the thing I will do though is I'm just going to centralize the text. You know, you don't have to centralize it, but I am because it sits inside of a circle and sometimes left aligned text in a circle doesn't always look so good because of the circular border radii. Right, we've now got this item in here, but we know it is a 400 width. You could be tempted to now start messing around with your padding over here to make this be 400 and you start measuring going, oh, you know, we're gonna have to add in about 100 here and about 100 there. Oh, that's not right. Let's make it 150, 150. You could do all of that, but it's far easier to do it when you put in some CSS. Now let's go and set our border radii. We go down to border and I go and pop in a value like 1000. We have a pill shape and it's not a full on circle. Again, you're gonna look at that and go, well, um, I definitely need to do all the padding now because I need to make it a certain height, right? I mean, you could also like maybe stick it into a child container and you start stretching it, but it's never gonna be right or look exactly how you want. And what if you want this as an absolute item and you just wanna move it somewhere on the screen? The simplest solution is to do this. And this is where it's gonna go wrong. So the height of the width of this is 400 pixel. Let's go and pop in selector display grid height 400. I mean, I could, I could get rid of the display grid there, to be honest. Height 400. Can you see what it's done? It's now moved it to be at the top there. Then you go and enter in display flex. You could even put in display grid. It doesn't really make a difference. I mean, display grid is going to make it even worse, in fact. What you will get is this. You get the circle because now the height is equal to the width. And even when you try and align it, it doesn't work. This does not apply to the text. So how do you now get the text to sit in the middle? Well, all you do underneath this is drop in another bit of CSS code. It's in the video description. That's it over there. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, look, I, if I was to do this, right, get rid of that selector and that greater than an asterisk multiply symbol. Look, it doesn't work. But when you separate it out, that text is now in the center. Now I do find the text is not always spot on in the center. I find that if you look at it, it's a little bit higher. This is where I would now go back in and whatever is the top you've added, I would increase that by 15 and go to 65. So if all of that padding was zero, you would put 15 in your top and that is now more central. Well, basically it is centralized now. Um, and you know, to be honest, though, it doesn't matter what text you pop in here, right? The size isn't going to change because you're controlling the width and the height. If suddenly you went, oh, that's too big. Let's go and change this to be a uh, 200. You would go down to your CSS and just pop in a 200 here. And of course, if you want, I mean, that now looks a bit ridiculous because the layout here is now 50 50. So let's go and change that to be a uh, 20, for instance. And then over the top there, we change that to be a 35. You get the idea, you add 15 on. So you can now have your text editor inside a circle like that. And I'm sure there are other ways to do that, but this fancy little bit of CSS just makes it really simple and easy. And then you can pick this up and basically, you know, look, if you add it as an absolute, you could pick it up and put it wherever you want on the screen, right? Um, you could even rotate it a bit if you want to be really, really fancy. I mean, look, let's just do that. Let's just do it. Let's go to transform. Let's go to rotate. Let's just rotate it a little bit to be something like that. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll catch you later.
Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that.